Okay, so my previous video showed Zubuntu running on the Raspberry Pi 4, uh, overclocked to two gigahertz. I figured I'd try Cinnamon uh, because I found a little uh, little article which showed you how to install it. Although it's not really supposed to be for the Raspberry Pi, it's not optimized for, for Raspberry Pi architecture. But if I click on Ubuntu, you'll notice in here, uh, Cinnamon is there and I'll cover that in the next video. Uh, that's the desktop environment for Mint. But uh, XFCE, so if I click on that and log in, the desktop environment comes up really nice and fast. And uh, XFCE is an incredibly light system, so very, very easy to run. It looks quite old um, in how it, how it uh, presents itself, but the advantage of that is if I use the cursors to go down here, you'll see that everything comes up really fast. So it is very snappy. Uh, and so if you're using it to run programs that take a lot of system resources, this would be a good operating system to use or a good desktop environment to use because it's taking less away from the actual app or game or whatever you're running. And it is, you know, it's got this uh, little taskbar on the bottom here, which is nice, a nice touch. So web browser, file management or web browser, which I accidentally clicked on. Well, as I've clicked on that, let's open up a few things. Hot UK Deals, BBC News, they're the ones I demo. Oh, it's, it's, it's obviously things that I've already, well, some of them I've already been to, but not all. Uh, oh, let's do Amazon as well. So, Hot UK Deals, uh, it, it also tends to scroll better than some of the other more heavy operating systems. You can see that that's, I think, smoother than it was on some of the others. Uh, BBC News. Uh, and then, oh, did I not click on Amazon? Oh, I see, that comes up with a search for Amazon. Okay. Uh, and then if I were to click on a page that's previously been opened, there you go. So nice, nice and fast. Uh, and YouTube works pretty well as well. Um, better than a lot of other distros uh, or desktop environments. So if I was to tap in here, and go in playlist let's find something with a bit of movement in it which probably that one would be and you can see it's not struggling on the advert as much as uh, as ubuntu was oh skip ads so this is running at 720 i think yeah 720 60 And it's definitely, definitely better than than other some other versions. I mean, it it's still not perfect for YouTube, but it's definitely better than other versions. So, uh, oh, and let's go full screen just to show it. I've got a Microsoft T-shirt on there. That's going to offend some people. I'm going to get some dislikes for that. Please don't dislike this video for that. Uh, so, let's exit that and close that down. Uh, I normally go through the apps that are pre-installed, but in the case of this, this is gonna be a bit strange because, so I, uh, it's Ubuntu and then I in installed Zubuntu, uh, but also because I installed the Cinnamon desktop, it added some extra apps. So uh, don't take it as this is everything that comes, but then everything will be free anyway, so you can find it and install it on it. Um, so you can see loads of settings options, uh, accessories, Education, games, obviously I've got more games in there because of this, this sort of double install. Uh, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, and system. So yeah, as, a, as an operating system, I could see why you would use this because uh, certainly on older or lower spec hardware, it runs nice and fast. Uh, and I, I like the fact that you've got this taskbar down, taskbar down there. Uh, I, in some ways, I didn't like the, the way that everything was hidden away on Zubuntu, but I can see that some people definitely would like it because they'd already see this as being a bit cluttered. But I kind of like it. Uh, I, you know, On other operating systems, I have things on the desktop. I'm happy to, to have things on the desktop. I like it that way. The only thing I'm, it seems to be missing, and obviously this is something you can add, this is only my first look on this, is... Uh, 
there's not a way to start typing the name of the app that you want. So you do have to do the old thing of uh, search through and know where it is. Although there is an application finder there, so you could do that. Oh, okay. So uh, if I type in office, yeah. Uh, it would be nice to, to get that onto the desktop, but I don't know how accessories, I'm going to assume right click, but no, right click does something else. Uh, but there, obviously there is an application finder. I would probably add that. It's here, isn't it? Is it there? It's there. Okay. So ignore all of that. It's actually there. Yeah. So if you want to launch an app, then just start typing. Uh, and then you can click on the app. Oh, that's fine. So there you go. It's already better than I thought it was. If I start opening some apps, uh, I could have probably double clicked there. Let's do another one. And let's go for accessibility. Oh, let's double tap that and see if that, yeah, that works. Uh, so then how do I use the other desktops? So open up a web browser. Oh, there you go. So I've got one desktop, two desktops. Yeah, really nice, really, really, really fast, really snappy. Uh, I will cover Cinnamon in the next video, but don't get your hopes up too much because uh, it runs terribly. It looks amazing, but it runs terribly, and it's it's just not uh, it's not ready for the Raspberry Pi. I don't think it's been optimized for that. I think it's designed for a different environment. But uh, but I just thought it was interesting to see what it looked like. See what, because a lot of people were going on about Mint and saying how good it is, uh, and it does look like a really nice operating system. So anyway, that's XFCE. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.